G'day, I'm Damo from CompNow, here to take you through Apple's Mac announcement from earlier today. Yes, I did say earlier today and not overnight, so a personal thanks to Apple for not making me get up at 3am to learn about the scary fast new M3 family of Apple Silicon. The M3 family, like the iPhone 15 Pro's A17 Pro processor, is manufactured using a 3 nanometer process. We'll spare you all the technical jargon on why that's a big deal, other than to say that smaller means more processing power in the same area, using less actual power. Also, speaking of nanometers, a silicon atom is 0.2 nanometers wide. So with a three nanometer process, we're talking about components being 15 silicon atoms wide. All of a sudden, quantum physics doesn't seem like such an academic subject. But onto our shiny new Macs. Firstly, the MacBook Pro has some updates that are sure to excite our enterprise and education customers. It's now available only in 14 and 16 inch varieties with the 13 inch version replaced with an entry level 14 inch version sporting an M3. This means that all MacBook Pros now feature the latest chassis with HDMI, SD card reader, MagSafe 3 and the gorgeous Liquid Retina XDR display. And these models are all available in the spiffy new space black color. Side note, the 13 inch MacBook Pro has been part of our lives in different forms since 2009 and we bid it a very fond farewell. Also leaving with this model is the touch bar. Both the 14 and 16 inch models also provide M2 Pro and M2 Max options with performance and power usage gains that will see Mac users more capable in more places than ever before. With the M3 Pro, users will see 20 to 40% improvements upgrading from previous generations of Apple Silicon. And for the M3 Max, it's two to 2.5 times faster. If you still haven't updated from an Intel MacBook Pro, you'll see performance increase by up to 11 times. Underlining exactly how much power Apple have designed into these new models, the 16-inch M3 Max supports up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory, the original maximum memory for the Mac Studio with M1 Ultra. But we did hear about another Mac getting the M3 chip, the 24-inch iMac. Frightening reception desks, offices, and school or university labs since their initial release with the M1, the iMac is now twice as fast with the M3. It's easy to get lost in the specs, but the simple thing to remember about Apple Silicon and the M3 family is that many of the old distinctions between notebooks and desktops no longer apply. The M3 family run as fast as they can on battery as well as power. With more of our enterprise customers now looking to Mac for heavy data analysis, machine learning and AI, in addition to the traditional creative and developer use, these new M3 chips will speed up your workflows and give you options you've never had before. If that's something you'd like to learn more about, you can contact CompNow and ask for, well, me, actually. Our education customers now have another MacBook Pro to consider for teachers and students, with the base model now supporting HDMI out without a dongle, and a beautiful new iMac range for labs, offices, and perhaps the principal's desk. For support with your Apple devices in education generally, get in touch and ask for Michelle Bunda. For direct PL support for the classroom teachers, or advice for leadership, we also have the wonderful Karen Pastro, our Apple professional learning specialist. These are very specific examples of how we can help, but as the only Australian company to be awarded both Apple authorized enterprise reseller and Apple authorized education specialist status and a major Jamf and Microsoft partner, you know we've got all your Apple needs covered. Find out more at compnow.com.au or get in touch with your CompNow account manager. Cheers.